Hey there. I thought I'd take a couple of minutes and show you what Miro looks like in action, but do that in maybe a little bit different way. So I'm going to use Miro to control my analog synth rack. So let's take a look at the uh, layout of stuff. I've got my max patch already loaded and ready to put something into. Um, I'm using as an audio interface the Mini DSP, which has an optical connection to my ES3 Expert Sleepers module. And that gives me a bunch of analog control channels that I've used in my analog rack. So what I've got is a painfully simple uh, sequence running. You can listen to it here. And the voltage control is going to be set to do a couple of controls. One of them on the wavetable is we're going to use it to uh, step through the wavetable and do a little tamer modeling. And then we're using the Mutable, in Mutable Instruments Clouds module to add some other mayhem to the situation by modifying the size. And also the density. So, so far so good. It's all set up and ready to go. Now, let's look at the patch. I've got a snippet that I use fairly regularly for two finger control. I'll drop it into my patch. And now I'll launch Mira. And let's connect via the USB port. And what you'll see now is I've got a mirror frame with a multi-touch control and a really simple max patch that basically gives me the output from the fingers, X and Y values from 0 to 1. I'm converting them straight to signal values, 0 to 1, and I'm sending them out the DAC, which means they're received at the expert sleepers and I'm sending control information. So with that in mind, I'll just lock the patch. And uh, grab the fingers. This is a tremendous amount of fun. And the darn thing when connected USB is just absolutely rock solid. It's an absolute pleasure to work with. There's another part about this that I do kind of like though, and I'll show it to you here. We can uh, now control uh, color. So I'll set a nice blue color, and when I look at that, look at my panel now. And we'll go back and look at the multi-touch controller, and I'll set a corresponding different color to that. And uh, when I look at my... Uh, That's pretty much how it works. <laughs> I'm having a good time with this, I gotta tell you. Anyway, till next time, happy patching and uh, happy swiping. <laughs>